Do you want to limit the number of entries that you have on your Gravity Forms? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let's jump on in. Here we have a registration form and I want to do a limited number of entries on this form. Obviously, we don't want to register too many people. So I go over to the forms area inside my WordPress admin, mouse over that form, mouse over settings and click the form settings option. This loads up all of the basic form settings. When I scroll down, I get to an area that says restrictions. Here we can see that I have a limited number of entries and I've enabled the limit. Yours may have the checkbox unchecked, you can just check it. Here I have a number of entries. I've selected 500 for the total entries. You can change that to per day, per week, per month or year. I'm using total number of entries. In the entry limit reach message, we have the event is fully registered as a title and then I'll put some paragraph text in. You can see that I can fit HTML text inside of here. To see how this message works, I'm gonna change my number of entries to 100 because I already have more than 100 entries on this form. I'll scroll down and click on the Save Settings button. The settings are updated. Let's go back, take a look at the front end of the website and let's see what the form now shows. Here we can see that the form is no longer showing because the event is fully registered and entries are full for 2023. We'll go back to the form settings now, scroll down to the limited number of entries. Let's change it back to 500. Click on the Save Settings button. Go back to the front end of the website and refresh. We can see that the form is now available. Go back to form settings. I'm actually going to deactivate that and then click save settings. The reason why on my particular form I'm deactivating is because the entries do not correlate to the people who have made payments. All of these entries here, even though I have 203, they don't necessarily have a payment. Why is that? Well, if I go into the settings of Stripe, we can see that an entry is created before somebody goes to the Stripe page to make payment. This means that you can end up with entries to your event that don't have a correlating payment. And unfortunately, there's nothing inside of here that tells us that we can disable or not create an entry when someone's filled out the form but not completed payment. So keep that in mind if you're using a payment form. If you're not, by all means, go ahead, use this feature and I'm sure it'll help you out. Well, I hope you like that quick Gravity Forms tip. If you want more tips like this, why don't you subscribe to the channel? And if you want something specifically answered, leave a comment below and I'll make a video about it and I'll see you in the next one.